Now it's starting to feel like Sagittarius season. Welcome to Neptune Station 2022. The world is yours. Hey, you only get one today. Today, anyway. I have a personal theory that when Neptune goes retrograde, things get extra weird. But when Neptune goes direct, things still stay weird, but it's easier to manage it. We'll find out, though. Definitely feels like Sagittarius season to me. And Elon Musk was like, hey, now that I've bought... Twitter is my three-ring circus for my first great show and the greatest show on earth. I give you Hunter Biden laptop cake for everyone. Enjoy. I'm like, what? Happy Taylor Swift kisses anniversary day to everybody who celebrates. Um, Space Force is a Sagittarius, just like me. All right. Hey, did you see the new stealth bomber they unveiled yesterday? B-21 Raider? This changes everything. That's what it says anyway. The U.S. Air Force unveiled today the B-21 Raider will be a dual-capable penetrating strike stealth bomber capable of delivering both conventional and nuclear munitions. The B-21 will form the backbone of the future Air Force bomber force consisting of B-21s and B-52s. We have some very impressive flying machines in the U.S. Air Force, in my opinion. And I'm super proud of everybody in Astro Fight Club and everybody on Earth for preventing World War III up until this exact moment. The last seven, eight years have been pretty dang dicey. It's a great job, team. All right, I've been talking about December 11th, 12th-ish for a while. It seems like a really weird, wild weather period. At some point, we're going to see like three hurricanes in the Atlantic Ocean, but most of them will be headed towards Spain, France, and England, Europe-ish areas, maybe some in Africa. But they're talking about, look at the size of that storm, yo. That thing is massive, giant, suit like that thing is so huge, and... 940 millibars make it like category two um hurricane or extra south north tropical thingy you know what i'm saying so yeah we're definitely going to be watching the next 10 days weather wise across the globe and you got some mixed precipitation double penetration coming to the united states of america and the canada and parts of mexico i guess maybe not the first part Right, this is around the 12th as well. You got some big old sunspots on the sun right now. One, two, three, four, five. And here comes another one. Plus, big crown. Man, it sure is fun to talk about gossip cake. Wait, what? There's a new Indiana Jones trailer out. And there's a new Guardians of the Galaxy trailer out. Just to let you know. Hey, I'm probably going to be day drinking today. Because... TCU, Texas Christian University, the Texas football team is 12 and 0. And they play uh Kansas State in the lower 48 interstate championship. Was the Big 12? I don't know. Damn. 11 a.m. Ice T be like, you cannot hang out with negative people and expect to live a positive life. TCU is 12 and 0. So there's a phrase called, all I do is win. And technically, the TCU football team has been able to say that all year long, D1. Will their win streak continue? I don't know, but the championship game is taking place in Arlington, Texas, just down the road from where I am right now, and the energy's feeling pretty good today. Stay cool, Charlie Brown. Christmas is upon us almost, like on December day three. And I, I love the month of December. Yeah. Crazy days, y'all. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And all the personal intel data I've collected empirically 
of the last two months and even the last week has suggested that the COVID RSV flu season is very bad. So stay safe and stay healthy out there. And for the first time in months, Venus is leaving the underworld and will be able to be seen in the sky again here on Earth, which to some people means good luck. Kind of like ladybugs. Um, so let me know if you see Venus in the sky this week or this month. So go ahead and get your football dance on. Did you know I played football from fourth grade to my freshman year in college? I don't usually bore y'all with sports ball talk, but these are uncommon, uncanny times now, aren't they? I don't want to be boring. Uh, like Cocaine Bay, Cocaine Bear, Cocaine Dope. No, Cocaine's bad for you. Says Nancy Reagan. Yeah, it seems like a really expensive habit. And then I've heard rumors you'd get stuck talk around people who just talk about cocaine. Which doesn't sound fun at all. I didn't tell a joke properly. And the whole Banksy team thing is always kind of weird and strange. That's my opinion. You don't have to agree. Yep, Texas weather. Who knows what to believe. But you know, here's the deal. In my opinion, I want to remind you again, Elon Musk in 2020 was like, in March, was like, hey, all the coronavirus is just going to disappear. And then in the middle of 2021, when Dogecoin was at 60 cents, he was like, hey, everybody should buy Dogecoin. And then he became the richest man on the planet. And now he's like, hey, y'all, let's talk about politics, even though an election is two years away. And I'm like, oh, dude. Anywho, he's got a pretty big megaphone and soapbox, so I just have my little boutique YouTube channel here. But I'm grateful to everyone. Hope everybody has a very wonderful um, holiday season. It is still Mars retrograde, and the Mars retrograde days are definitely strange. Man, one time I was working on a movie in Palmdale, California, back in the 90s, and... uh some of the B-21 bombers or the B-bombers, B-2s flew right over me. And I was like, holy smokes, this is such a cool day. And it, and it really was. Yeah, I don't know. All the people who were like, hey, buy Bitcoin when it's at 60,000. I don't know. Some of them still have good reputations. Anywho, what was the point? Oh, yeah. Crypto broker Genesis owes Winklevoss exchange customers 900 million. So the Winklevoss, you know, uh, anyway, God, my words are failing me. I'm just saying strange days indeed, man. You see, when the sun acts crazy, earth weather acts crazy and people lose their minds. So maybe I can blame it on the sun or I can just shape up and start talking awesome again with great charm and charisma saying important, educational, interesting, funny things all the time. There was a 6-0 earthquake in Java, Indonesia earlier today so we we're kind of on a tsunami watch we were i don't you know but it's a six and it was pretty deep so i wasn't that worried about it anywho strange days indeed and things have definitely been earthquakey hey i'm gonna wrap this up oh yeah um i'm doing a fundraiser so like if you just want to say hey thanks thor um man throw some support love gifts whatever my way this december uh for all the things if you appreciate me uh, I really appreciate it. Although, you know, take care of your, yourself, your friends, your family, your pets first. But, you know, but so super duper thank you if you want to contribute. You know how to do it. You're a really smart person. But let me say thank you to everybody out there in Asteroid Fight Club. You guys have been super amazing supporting me for all these 10 years. And super thanks to Matthew, Patrick, Computer Social Impact Research Institute, Alexis, Lauren, Glenda, Arnica, Marlita, Brian, and Lynn. George, tons of people out there. You guys are amazing. Um, stay cool, and uh, I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks for all your kind words and just for being cool people on this crazy ride we call life. God bless everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And definitely be on the lookout for the three ghosts of Christmas. Sweet.